Welcome back. In this video, I will love to introduce to us a simpler method of using the if-else logic, especially if we are trying to check if a Boolean value is true or false. In this case, we shall be using the WhatsApp example we just used. We shall replace the if statements with ternary operators like so. So let's come here in our render method, come up here to say, let's pass this in curly brackets because we are trying to write JavaScript here. Let's say this dot state dot is typing a question mark and we say, and we pass in the colon there that's going to return this components, which is front. So we just say, so we are just going to say front and that's all. Now let's head over to our front.jsx file and get rid of all of this, the if statements and all of this. Let's just return this alone. Let's get rid of this also. So what's happening here is the question mark here is used to check if this is true. To make it easier to understand, let's see this statement as a literal question. Let's say, is this dot state dot is typing true? If it's true, give me this, which is your friend is typing, or else give me this component. And this component just has the earth can be repaired one plastic at a time. So this column here is used to signify else when writing ternary operators. Using this method saves us time and uses less code. For now, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share.